हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ स्टिकी लिक्विड एनिमेशन विदाउट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी ऐड ऑन ओके सो फर्स्टली गाइस सेलेक्ट योर लाइट दिस वन दैट्स माय डिफॉल्ट लाइट एंड प्रेस डिलीट की सी गाइस दैट्स माय क्यूब एंड गाइस आई चेंज स्केल साइज सो स्केल साइज हाफ लाइक 0.5 0.5 या एंड गाइस नाउ गो टू ऑन हियर एडिट मोड एंड गाइस सेलेक्ट योर फेस दिस वन दैट्स माय फेस and guys see that's my extrude so use extrude individually like this and increase size like this yeah right okay so guys now i apply bevel effect so guys shortcut command is press control b so control b check and guys create bevel like this yeah see guys that's my bevel so breadth size like a 0.8 is good and segments increase I like five. Yes, that's it, guys. Right, and guys, now that's my shape. And guys, this time I apply subdivision surface here. Subdivision surface check. And guys, viewport level three and render three. Yes, right. And guys, little bit change scale size. So one more time, edit mode. And guys, press S letter S and increase scale size like this. Yes, much better. See guys, that's my some shape, and right click on the shape, shade smoother, yeah. And now guys, I create rotation animation. So guys, see that's my end frame. I like five hundred is good for me. And guys, increase frame. So guys, now select your shape and press I, and rotation check. And guys, now go to on last. So guys, rotation like seven twenty, seven twenty check. and guys one more time press i and rotation check and guys select your keys that's my key and guys press t and see guys that's my liner shortcut command is t and liner check that's it guys and one more time preview yeah that's my simple rotation effect and guys stop and now guys i apply flow so guys this time i use cube and increase scale size like this And guys, see that's my scale size like ten, ten, and ten. And guys, height change. So height, that's my height change. Yeah. And guys, more like a zero point one. Enter check. So guys, go to down. Yeah. Right. Little bit up. Yes. Okay. So guys, now I apply one more curve. So rotation. And guys, that's my duplicate. So Rotation angle ninety. So go to on up and go to back. Yes, and see guys, that's my some effect shape increase like this. So guys, select and go to back. Yeah, good. And now guys, I set camera. So guys, see that's my camera. So guys, press Control Alt and press zero. Yes. Select your camera and guys rotation I like ninety zero and zero yeah and guys see that's my location zero and guys I change this one why location change like this and guys little bit down yeah see guys that's my camera angle right okay so guys now this time I apply liquid simulation so use this one that's my UV sphere. Select and guys see that's my radius half zero point five is good, and guys go to on up like this yes see guys that's my curve out of frame so guys frame see guys that's my frame and that's my out of frame okay so guys now select your this one that's my sphere and guys I apply liquid simulation this one here liquid quickly fit check yes and guys now. Go to back and preview check. Yeah, that's my flow behavior. Okay, so guys, go to on here liquid dome, and see guys, that's my here. Guys, select your sphere, and guys, I change this one in flow. Yes, and guys, preview check. Yeah, see guys, that's my like a water effect, but guys, that's not correct. I create sticky liquid. So guys, see that's my sampling like a. Ten, and guys, again, yeah. Okay, so guys, now I increase this dome size. So guys, go to back, 
and guys go to on here select liquid dome and guys select size see guys that's my size so scale size like a seven seven and seven yes and guys press one and go to down like this yeah good right see guys that's my simple objects okay so guys now this time select your liquid dome and guys i create some effects See guys, that's my resolution. Guys, resolution I use 96 is best resolution for the sticky liquid. And guys, if your system configuration is better, you can take 128. Otherwise, 96 is good. Guys, that's my only tutorial part. I like 32. Okay, so guys, see guys, that's my all setting is good. Border check. And see guys, that's my liquid. So liquid sampling, this one. I like four double. And see guys, that's my narrow brand with I like six. Yes, right. And guys, now go to on here. That's my viscosity check. Yes. And see, guys, that's my strength. I like 0 0.005. Guys, see, that's my strength. Guys, you can increase little bit strength. is dependent on your work. More higher strength, more sticky liquid effect. But for my case, only 0 0.005 and diffusion check. And guys, now see guys, that's my particle. It's only latest version. And guys, I don't need this one particle and mesh check. So guys, see that's my upper factor. I like four and smoothing like two is good. Yes. And guys, see that's my all type. I use all. Yes. Okay. So guys, now I apply collision effect. So guys, select your this one. That's my shape. So we use fluid and use this one effector and effector type use collision and sampling. I like 120. Enter. Right. See guys, I use sampling 120. And guys, now select your this one. That's my base flow. And guys, use effector check. Guys, this time sampling I like 50. So yeah good and see guys that's my surface thickness i like 0 0.3 enter guys is depending on your work 0 0.5 is also good and see guys that's my sub stack like a 75 enter see guys that's my one more time liquid domain and see guys that's my resolution little bit up like 42 so guys go to down and guys see that's my bake and guys that's my end frame use 500 500 and check and bake all dynamic check guys take lots of time for baking okay so guys now i stop this baking escape key yeah see guys that's my liquid simulation and guys click on here yes great see guys that's my liquid and guys press one so guys select this one little bit up this one yeah more yeah good okay so guys now i apply this time material so guys for material i use blender kit add-on see guys that's my blender kit so click on here and guys i apply this time candy texture candy material yes see guys that's my beautiful materials okay so guys firstly apply this material on liquid simulation like this yes and guys see that's my white texture apply to on this shape yeah so guys click on here and guys now go to back so guys now i change uv so guys select your shape and press tab edit mode so guys press u and smart uv project check and press ok yeah and guys you can change also material so object mode so i like this one also yes see guys that's my material and guys same press tab and u so smart uv check and press ok yeah see guys that's my white texture right okay so guys see that's my like a bubblegum material i like this one that's for my background and apply yes good and press zero okay so guys now i apply this time sdri texture so guys click on here and see guys that's my color so use environment See guys, that's my environment texture check. And guys, I apply SDRI texture. Yeah, select this one and import. Yeah, 
and see guys the x max strength little bit change like a 0 0.9 yes and guys lastly i apply area light so guys go to on add and guys go to on light and area light check so guys go to on up that's my area light like this and guys i increase scale size see guys that's my scale size like a three and power like 250 enter yeah guys little bit down yes that's it that's my lighting and guys press camera and guys now go to on here render setting and guys i use cycle render and device gpu check and guys see viewport level 128 and render like a 256 is good and guys go to on preview yeah that's my sticky liquid so guys click on here yes and guys one more time preview check yeah much better see guys that's my sticky liquid and guys stop guys right click on this liquid and shade smoother and guys now i create more smoothness so use softness so guys go to on here and use smooth tool and guys see that's my repeated i like 10 enter yes right see guys that's my sticky liquid and guys all is good and lastly guys one more time select your liquid domain and click on here and guys i show you my render preview one frame render yeah see guys that's my beautiful render and close and now guys free all check and guys go to back so guys this time i increase resolution see guys that's my resolution i like 96 guys if you want create more smoothness so use 128 enter right okay but guys it take lots of time for baking and 96 yes okay so guys all is good and guys bake all dynamic check okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you